Hi, this is Justin Hansen with Infront Consulting Group. Today I'd like to demonstrate for you a solution that we've developed that's going to allow your users to update their own personal AD user information themselves using the self-service portal offered by Service Manager. In today's demo, I'm going to be demonstrating this process using the new Sirison self-service portal. So typically in today's process, a user may change locations or get married and their surname ch may change, for example. This will require the user to submit a request to the local help desk and wait for an analyst to implement those changes. Of course, all this process is prone to human error, such as typos. Also, the user is sometimes not aware of the effect of changes once they've been made. With our solution, we allow for periodic reminders to, out to the users to ask them to verify that their information is current, and if not, it gives them the opportunity to update it. The user is able to review their information and submit any changes that they might need made. The process also involves a manager's approval so that their current manager is always requested to approve these changes. Once approved, the changes are applied based on the input and a verification email is always sent to the user letting them know that the changes are made. So if we take a look at how this works, we'll jump right into our demo machine. And if, for example, we have a user named Clay Rockall, and Clay recently changed office locations. So he's going to log into the Sirison self-service portal, as you can see here, and he's going to look for the update AD user information request. He's going to go ahead and click that. This request is going to allow him to review his general and organizational information, all contained within Active Directory. So this is all of his current information. And with this, he has the opportunity to make any changes that he might need made. So, for example, if he changed his last name, he would just go ahead and update his last name to his new one. But in this case, he did not change his last name. He changed his office location. So we're going to go ahead and update his office telephone number. And any other information that we don't need changed, we'll just leave blank. So if we go down, we look at his organizational information. We can see that he's a help desk analyst, and his current manager is Justin Hansen. His current office location is in Toronto. So this is the information we want to change, his office location, as well as his manager that he reports to. So if we scroll down to manager here, we'll go ahead and search his new manager, which will be Prab. And the new office is going to be Montreal. We'll go ahead and pop that address in there. And of course, if you don't want to allow users to enter just about anything they want, of course, it can it can introduce some opportunity for typos. Um, what we can do is we can have drop downs that will allow you to predefine some of the values as you can see here under country we have Canada and United States we can go ahead and do that for city and street address and anything else that way the user is not able to you know add whatever they want or potentially make a mistake in typing it so we've updated the user's information of course the country is going to remain the same so we don't need to make changes there we'll go ahead and save this request And as you can see, we've uh, created our request here. So in a moment, what's going to happen is Service Manager is going to pick up this request and it's going to leverage Orchestrator in the background to actually verify the information and evaluate to see if any changes are necessary. If changes are necessary, then what's going to happen is his current manager, who in this case is Justin, should get an email letting him know that Clay's asking for his information to be updated and it's going to ask for Justin's approval before any changes are made. Justin will then go ahead and approve that change and the changes will effectively be made. So if we hop into Service Manager here and we do a refresh on our current open service requests, we can see we have our SR3240 in progress. So if we open this up and we'll briefly take a look at the Activities tab to see exactly what that workflow looks like. So as you can see here, the first step is to evalu evaluate the changes. The second step is for the manager's approval 
for him to review those changes and approve it. And the third one, of course, is to implement those changes and send the email off to the user. So what we're going to do here, we're going to pause for a moment and let this process, and in the next step, we'll come back. Hi, hi and welcome back. It looks like the changes have been reviewed, and Justin here has received an email requesting that his approval is ma be made. So as we can see here, if we read through the email, we can see the service request with ID 3240. Uh, here's Clay's current information. Uh, so that's that's great, and we can see here that his new information has been updated with a uh, new office location, new manager, and new office phone number. And uh, it says here, your approval is required for review activity 3242. So me being Justin, I'm going to go ahead and approve that change. So I'll just go ahead and log into my self-service portal here. So once I log in here, if I go to my work items, I can see here that there's a review activity uh, with ID 3242. That's the same one that the email was referring to. So if I go into this review activity here, and I'll just go ahead and approve, make my comment, and save those changes. So now that I've approved this request, uh, the next step would be to implement those changes for the user. And once the changes have been implemented, Clay should receive an email. So I'm going to pop over to Clay's inbox here, and we're just going to uh, wait a moment for those changes to be implemented. So we'll pause and come back when that's been completed. Hi, and welcome back. So it looks as though the changes have been successfully applied, and Clay's received an email indicating this. I hope that this demo has been useful to you and that you find some value in it for your organization. If you feel that there is, I'd encourage you to reach out to our sales team at sales at infrontconsulting.com. This has been Justin Hansen with Infront Consulting. Thank you.